What's up guys, welcome to it. In today's episode, I'm gonna show you my go-to cinematic shots when using a gimbal. So the first shot that we're gonna do is what I call the tracking reveal. When I start recording, I'm gonna call action. Camera's gonna be facing the sky. As I start tracking backwards, you're going to be walking along uh, with me, right? And the whole idea is as the camera comes down to your eye line, you're going to be in this position here. So what we're gonna do is make sure our lighting from Patrick over there is right. Camera is rolling, and here we go, Carly, and action. What I'm gonna do now that I've revealed Carly is I'm gonna go in and get the detail. Detail is what viewers love to see without them even knowing. So what I'm gonna do is go to the telephoto side of the, the lens. I'm on the 24 to 70 uh, G Master. I'm gonna go to 50 mils because I reckon that's gonna be really nice for our detail shot. Let me just rebalance quick. What I've asked her to do is to be really intentional with her look. So when she's looking out to the left and she looks back at camera, she's looking straight down the barrel of the lens, really connecting with the viewer. Let's, let's go. Action. Nice speed, very nice speed. Keep it going. Once we've revealed our subject and we've tracked along with them, now what we're gonna do is we are going to track with something in the foreground. In our case, what I'm gonna do is get uh, Carly to just walk along the same path while I use that tree over there as our object that's gonna be in frame. Just before you hit that tree, I want you to look to the right hand side so I can get a full, full uh, shot of your face, okay? So we're just reviewing footage now and one thing that really sticks out to me and this is just one thing about the sony fx3 which is so cool is that its autofocus features have so many um settings where you can take those automatic features and really customize them to what it is that you're shooting so as an example we had carly over here walking behind a tree it was like a solo eclipse but i set my sensitivity of the autofocus down to one which means it keep, just keeps focus on carly the whole time even if you're shooting through objects so yeah excellent we got the shot moving on to the next one What we're going to be doing now is what I call the orbit. So this is when you go around the subject with the camera. I'm going to orbit around her, but I'm going to orbit around her from a low to high angle, almost giving her a larger than life feel, a real hero shot. Here we go for the orbits. And as I call action, you look straight into the end. Okay, Carly, here we go. Camera's rolling and the shot's moving. Action. Now that I've got the wide shot of the orbit, what I'm gonna do is come in for a closer shot just to give some detail. And because of the trees in the background behind her, as soon as we zoom in, it's gonna really compress that background and make it that much more interesting. And orbiting now, and action. This is our detail shot. Here we go. Camera's rolling and action. Beautiful, hold it there. Coming even closer, okay? Look at the camera. There we go. Looking out over the water, please. And action. Well done. Right, so the next shot we're gonna do is what I call the push in. And as the name suggests, it's where I'm gonna take the gimbal and push in towards Carly over here, our subject. But to make it that much more interesting, as opposed to just pushing in uh, towards your subject and having them staring straight down the barrel of the lens, which will look nice enough. What we're going to do is we're gonna have Carly look away. And when I call action, she's going to look up at the camera and give us a bit of movement. That will make it even more interesting. And action. Ooh. 
Right, so for our pigeon shot, as opposed to just having Carly stand in the middle of nowhere, we are going to draw our viewer's attention in towards Carly by using leading lines. And the only leading lines I could could see here in the park is this fallen down tree. I'm gonna shoot and push in alongside this tree in towards our subject matter. And as you can see there, the sun is hanging out in the perfect position. It's acting as a beautiful backlight for her. And we've got Patrick over here bouncing some of that sun light into the shadow sides of her face. So let's try and uh, let's try and nail it. Let's go. 